If you ever find yourself in need of witnessing the epitome of shamelessness, a quick Google search of Sochitra Krishnamurti's Twitter account will do the trick. This is Animesh Pandey from TFI Post and join us as we delve deeper into the intriguing world of Sochitra Krishnamurti and her itch of being the controversy darling. In the realm of shameless declarations and bizarre views, one name shines brightly, that of Suchitra Krishnamurti. Known for her intriguing presence on Twitter, this former actress come singer has once again managed to grab headlines and definitely not for the right reasons. With accusations of infidelity against her ex-husband Shekhar Kapoor and a proud proclamation of being an alimony wife, Suchitra Krishnamurti has left us all scratching our heads in disbelief. If you ever find yourself in the need of witnessing the epitome of shamelessness, a quick Google search of Suchitra Krishnamurti's Twitter account will do the trick. Brace yourself for a journey into the depths of bizarre and eyebrow-raising statements that will leave you questioning the sanity of it all. From audacious claims to misguided viewpoints, Krishnamurti never fails to surprise and perplex. In a recent interview with Siddharth Kanan, Suchitra Krishnamurti accused her ex-husband Shekhar Kapoor of cheating on her. While admitting the infidelity, she nonchalantly stated that marriages break due to disrespect, not infidelity. Irony alert! Moments later, she took a jab at Preeti Zinta for an alleged affair with Kapoor. It seems like in Krishnamurti's world, cheating is only wrong when she's on the receiving end. Talk about double standards right there. Her ability to navigate the moral compass is truly a sight to behold. But this is only the beginning. In a viral clip from 2013, Krishnamurti proudly declared herself as an alimony wife and shamelessly proclaimed, I am bloody proud of it. Well, isn't that just delightful? Taking alimony is now a badge of honor. Forget self-made and being empowered, let's celebrate financial dependence. Krishnamurti's unapologetic embrace of alimony raises questions about the perception of financial independence and the shifting dynamics in relationships. Adding more fuel to the fire, Krishnamurti's tweet castigating the account sharing the alimony video took an unexpected turn. She suggested that people should grow a womb before discussing gender equality. Ah yes, the magical womb, the ultimate argument winner, who knew that the reproductive organs held the key to understanding the complexities of gender equality. Ironically, when Sonali Kulkarni had mocked this very notion a long time back and implored women to grow personality and not be proud in being the gold diggers, she was pilloried for the same and forced to apologize. These are ten times we live in. So Chitra's statements about alimony makes us ponder over the depths of her logic. Taking alimony, according to her, is akin to taking your rights. But wait, even beggars don't justify their begging, do they? So are we to believe that alimony is a justified form of begging? By that twisted logic, one might as well justify dowry as the price for being the provider of the family. Are Suchitra and the other feminists up for it? 